Hi guys, my name is Franck, and in this Armor 3 video, I'm going to show you guys how to set up an AI sentry in your Armor 3 mission. So to get started, there's four different ways of doing this, four different methods. So the first method is uh, basically by doing it through a script. You could have it find the p positions of a building, and then randomly or specifically assign the unit to the position of that building, but we're not going to cover that. That's a, it's a little bit too uh, complex for a video. Then there's also the modules creation tool. We could do a site module. So if we click on the module creation tool here on the left, icon with the three little boxes, we could double click on the map where we want the module to be. And in this case, we could set the category to sites, module to op4 or blue4 or independent site. And then basically set it to an observation post for, for an example and set the faction. And then of course, set the axis or the size of the site module. And you could also set building occupi occupation and set it to like 75% or whatever. Click OK and place it over the building, but we're not going to do that in this video. And then there's the other two uh, ways which I will be demonstrating. So there's either tediously placing, but yet precisely placing the unit in a position of the building. So for example, I double clicked on the map with the unit creation tool here in the top left, double clicked on the map, and I created a unit. And then I dragged him where I wanted him to be. So if I want him close to the window, maybe I'll put him a little bit right here. Right about there, maybe. And then I set the elevation in azimuth. So I'll show you an example right here. So the elevation here means that if you set it above the value of 0, then that will set them above the terrain level or uh, the ground level. So 4.1 is above ground level, and that is the value I had to set for this unit to be on the floor of the tower because the tower is elevated above the terrain. So, or the floor of the, t the tower is elevated above the terrain. So I set it to 4.1, and now his feet will be on the floor of the tower. And azimuth is the direction of the unit that he'll be facing. You could set it th three different ways. So az azimuth can be set through this numerical value right here. So I could type in 40 or whatever. Or I could click on the azimuth clock here. But we're just going to set it to 200. Click OK. And also the third way is if you hold shift and left click while the unit is selected, you can hold shift and left click and drag, and that'll rotate them. So that's one way of doing it. It's a bit more tedious because the markers on the map are not accurately represented. So even though this looks like a big ass tower, it's actually probably about this big. So it becomes a pain in the ass uh, as a mission designer to set that up, to do it that way. So if you want to be lazy maybe and to do it really quickly, uh, you want to create a quick mission, then you select your unit that you want to have them move into the tower. While he, while he is selected, click on the waypoint creation tool here on the left, and then double click on the position of this building. To, it could be a pain in the ass to find the position of the building, so what we're going to do is click on the ID right here, and that'll show us the exact position where the unit is, uh, or the object or building is placed. Double click on it with the waypoint creation tool selected, and the unit selected and the position in the house is what we're looking for. So there's only two in this uh, watchtower. Anything with uh, with positions in it is look basically classified as a house, by the way, right here. So even though it says house, it's actually a tower. So don't get confused by that. So anyway, the first position in this tower is going to be at the top of the, t t uh, top of the stairs in the watchtower, on the floor of the t watchtower, and number two will be uh, halfway up the stairs. So we'll set this guy to number one. And his speed is limited and careless behavior. Just for demonstration purposes, you would want to set him to safe behavior instead of careless. And then we'll set the second guy to position 2. Careless behavior, limited speed. Alright. And now let's preview. And now you'll see that those units will move into the tower while the other guy, the blue 4 guy, will be already pre-placed in the tower. I'm just going to show it off real quick. Blue four guy is probably gonna turn around and kill the guy who goes up the stairs. Maybe not. Blue four, the out four guy is running away because he noticed the blue four guy. All right, so yeah, a little bit glitchy, but that's armor. Anyway, that's how you assign a, a sentry in a tower. If you want to learn how to set their values, like for view distance and stuff like that, for the AI, so that they have longer engagement ranges. Honestly, I would just recommend you use an AI mod like ASR AI or Alive or something like that because it's just easier that way. Anyway, hopefully this video was helpful, and if it wasn't, then dislike it and let me know why, and I'll try to answer your questions. If you did like it and it was helpful, then like it. Anyway, see you then in the next video.